Hey everyone, here is an exciting tutorial on how you can create a custom Slack command and minutes using Drona HQ as a middleware. So for that right now we are going to log into api.slack.com. Once you are logged in into api.slack.com, uh, you are going to see your apps. Under your apps, you can create a new application. So once you click on create a new application, you are going to provide the app a name. Right now I am going to provide the app name as cust-slack-demo and uh, you have to pick any workspace under which you are going to create the application. Now after that you need to log into Drona HQ Studio and select the automation from the left panel. Then click on create automation. Now I am going to create a custom slack demo automation. Let's click on proceed. Uh, once it is loaded the automation is ready. We are going to select a trigger. Right now we are going to use a webhook to trigger the event and we are going to use a curl URL and then send an event to a webhook using a curl request. Let's copy paste this curl request and hit it through the postman. Let's import this curl and under the body right now we have a sample JSON which we are going to paste over there. When we are sending a slack message or any command the slack API always send this as a body parameter. Now let's hit this and uh, pull the JSON. Once we have configured the webhook, then we can proceed further as our webhook is already configured. Now we need to create a slack command. Over there you have to click on create a slack command. Right now we are going to provide command name as get user info. And in the request URL we are going to paste the automation webhook URL. Also let's provide a short description. It can be anything according to your use case. Let's also give some hint. Whatever description and hint you have provided in the command, it will give you a small preview of it at the bottom. Once you have created a slack command, then we can go to our webhook. Under webhook, uh, let's add one branch. Over there, we can distinguish between which command are we going to receive. Right now we are going to check with get user info. So let's check whether our command is this or not. Once we have configured the branch, then let's add the API. Right now I am going to use the Druna HQ REST API for getting the user information. And I am going to provide the user email as webhook.text. Under text we are going to receive the user email. So let's select that and hit the continue. Now finish, uh, 
let's add some variables over there we are going to store the user id of the user and the username let's hit finish and on the success we are going to send the message to the channel on which we are going to get the request right now let's create a simple slack message under the select channel i am going to write webhook.channel id and the message which we want to send as a slack response so right now i have stored the user id and the username i am going to pull that user id and username from get user info and put it in the message block as get user info dot username and get user info dot user id let's hit the continue and finish the same way i am going to create an error message i am going to use the same slack send message to channel action for the production i'm going to use the drone as your slack account and over the same as the success message for the channel i'm going to use the webhook dot channel id and in the message i'm going to write a simple error message like something went wrong try again later Let's hit the continue button. So now we have uh, configured our webhook. Let's publish it. You can give any release notes. Now before testing the application, we also need this application to be installed in our workspace. For that, you have to come back to api.slide.com under setting you have to click on install application and install to a workspace once you click on it it will redirect to a page you so you just need to allow the permission once you have allowed the permission it will give you a success message now you are ready to use a slack command okay to try our command let's get our slack slash get user info command over there you can able to see the preview of the short description and the hint which we have provided while creating the slack command and i'm going to write a user email of which i'm going to get the information for that user and here we have the user information of that user user id and username so guys this is it from my side head over to drona hq and start building your own slack commands now